Speaking at the launch of the 70th anniversary celebrations of the university, the Asante Hene indicated the benefits the university bring are bigger than what an individual earn from selling the land. Otunfo therefore advised the citizenry not to consider the excess land capacity as waste since it would serve a purpose in the coming years. Let me use this platform to highlight a very disturbing development which has come to my attention in recent times, and that is the encroachment of university lands. I condemn it in no uncertain terms and strongly send a note of caution to all those involved to desist from it or face my wrath. And let me warn, and let me warn the communities, the chiefs, and whoever. The lands are mine, and you are just caretakers to those lands. No. No. There's no family, family land here in Ashanti. No, no Abusiapanyi can claim that the land belongs to him, and therefore he has a right to alienate a portion of the land of the university lands at all. No. No. And you can go to any court, take it there. No. I'm sure also there will be a judge who will know that the constitution and the constitution of Ashanti says that there's no family land in Ashanti. And sure. therefore, get the lawyers to take you to court. But I'll get the court also to turn over their decisions. Sure. I'll get the court also to take, turn over their decisions. To sure. affirm my authority on the land here. Sure. The Vice Chancellor, Professor Mrs. Reta Akusha Dixon, commended the government for the staff recruitment clearance. She however emphasized that it is inadequate. Nana Chancellor, the university has also seen growth in staff numbers, which currently stands at over 3,000. This notwithstanding, the number of academic staff of the university is not commensurate with the number of students with respect to the prescribed um, staff to students ratio, STR. Currently, the average STR of the university stands at 1 is to 63 for regular learners. This ratio soars to a new high of 1 is to 76 when we add our distance learners. This ratio is in sharp contrast to the requirement of the Ghana Tertiary Education. Minister of Education Dr. Yao Duchum hinted that the government's plan to whip up the interests of STEM education among Ghanaian students by establishing STEM-focused schools. The second industrial revolution passed Africa by. The third we are grappling, and the fourth now is here. This is the only opportunity we have to put poverty at bay and to ensure that together we can transform our nation. And that is why the president has directed that the ministry emphasize science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Next academic year, we are opening about 10 schools that is focused on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. We want them to capture the content that will be taught in the first year of engineering programs in such a way that by the time they get here, they are taking advanced classes and you are moving them on. Reporting for joining us, Chrissy Deborah.